They came into service about 30 years ago. And if you ever rode one of the TTC's longer accordion style streetcars, you may have stood on one of these platforms and held on to the railing as it makes a turn around the bend. Well, today, the old articulated streetcars are being retired and they're taking one final trip down memory lane. Shining bright, the old dame of Queen Street pulled out of the Wolseley Loop for one last jaunt across the core, packed with passengers soaking in the nostalgia. I'm actually from Winnipeg, and when I moved here, I remember riding these when I first got here. It's sort of bittersweet in my mind, because, well, it is, I've ridden these for 20 years. You know, it's emotional. It's a little nostalgic. Uh, these streetcars got us through so much growing up. The articulated light rail vehicles, also known as ALRVs, rolled onto the rails in 1988, boasting an increased capacity of 108 passengers, specifically bought to move people along the busy Queen Street and Bathurst corridors. Any one of these cars probably carried 15 million people over the course of 30 years. Uh, the car behind us has gone 1.577 million kilometers since it was put in service. Though for all the warm feelings being conjured up on board today, these long street cars provided plenty of headaches. The ones behind us, the articulated ones, weren't always the most reliable street car. They needed a lot of, a lot of effort from our, our maintenance people and from our engineering people to keep them running. In 2015, with Bombardier way behind schedule delivering the new street cars, the Transit Commission launched a multi-million dollar maintenance program designed to extend the life of the ALRVs for another decade. Transit advocate Steve Monroe notes that the program was eventually cancelled but not before a whole lot of public money was tossed at the aging vehicles. Was it a waste of money? Uh, it was certainly a waste of money to, to have cars rebuilt at about a million dollars a piece to only stay in service for a couple of years. I think that's why the program was, was killed off. Monroe adds that the TTC spent about $20 million repairing 20 of the streetcars before putting the brakes on the program. Today, we question the Transit Commission on the failed effort to extend the life of the ALRVs. It was really a sort of a, a test program. Uh, found out that no, it wasn't worth sticking more money into them. It's much better to uh, wait for all the new streetcars to come. Those are the real replacements for these. Toronto has received 172 of the 204 new Bombardier streetcars to be built. The Commission says they've been promised that they'll all be delivered by the end of the year. In the short term, it's going to be a real crunch because they do not have, of the 204 new cars, when they're all here, there are not enough cars to fully uh, support the streetcar system. They need at least another 70, according to their own estimates, by 2030, simply because of growing demand. The Transit Commission didn't pick up the option to have Bombardier build 60 more additional streetcars, but says it's exploring all options to expand its fleet into the future. The old, smaller CLRVs are scheduled to be retired by the end of the year. And Steve Monroe adds, you can expect to see plenty more buses on routes until the TTC is able to increase its streetcar fleet. About to take this old ALRV out for a rip on Queen Street, I'm Adrian Gobriel for City News.